This is Neo Moxenband. He's a scientist who constantly records his life. It sums up to 1800 hours of a video. But it's not just video. He's also recording his feelings using these devices, which he wears every day. He calls it Nemo, and he thinks it will one day change how we remember and react to what happens to oh, us. I like this. Knowing more about yourself, it's gonna change the story of your life. <laughs> Neo is part of the Fluid Interfaces team at MIT Media Lab, where scientists are developing wearable technology that could make us better at regulating emotion, making decisions, or remembering the past. We have the opportunity to create the first comprehensive database of human experience. This wristband records at my heart rate, my skin conductance, which is a really good index of how stressed or how excited a person is. I record my body temperature. The headset is recording what's going on in the brain. Nemo is recording all this data simultaneously to build a bank of Neo's memories, experiences that he can revisit and also learn how he was feeling at that moment. For example, here's us interviewing Neo, and here's what that experience looks like in his memory bank. And this is what's being picked up by the sensors. He started recording his life nine months ago, and nearly every night he goes through the day's footage. He's built a system that speeds up the video, and slows down only for the moments that made him especially anxious, happy, or calm. It's me listening to audiobooks <laughs> or music. Some sort of memory amplification system where I can watch it in five minutes and understand all the important moments. Neo is hoping something like this could actually be wired into the brain and create an artificial memory for people with brain diseases like Alzheimer's. Someone asks you, what did you have for breakfast? You just think about breakfast and it immediately finds the video of that moment. And for example, you can see it on your phone or if you have smart glasses, you can see it on your glasses. Both of my grandmas got Alzheimer's. I had the opportunity to take care of one of them for a while. And uh, it's such a heartbreaking disease. If you look at the products that are available for Alzheimer's, most of the technology is about how to lock the cabinets and how to make sure the patient stays in the room. Nobody is building devices that can bring them back to functionality. The first step is collecting as much data as possible to feed into a software that can recognize faces, objects and patterns in a particular person's life. So Neo is his own research subject. And he's willing to wear this as long as it takes to build that database. He's gotten used to the staring. Luckily, his girlfriend has gotten used to it too. At first, I was just annoyed because I was like, I don't like being filmed. I don't like when people look at me, so I don't want to be filmed. But then I'm like, you know, I love vlogs and I love watching people and I love having memories, so now I'm just used to it. I, like, I actually like it a lot. And it's come with an added bonus. Neo says sifting through footage of his day has made him more aware of the things that make him happy, and he seeks those out more. Moments where I get food for her. I like watching her eat. Doing physical activity together, it always leads to lasting calmness. So in that sense, it's kind of like a private psychologist. You're constantly analyzing in the context of your memories to figure out what you should do next. I think more about investing my life on things that actually matter. And I think much less about the tiny things that bother me. Hey, this
This is Machines with Brains. Subscribe to our page to see a new episode every week.